are you ready to take your chess training to the next level? I specifically ask for training, not for your chess game, because we are all ready to take our chess game to the next level, but are we following with our training as well? We are mostly solving tactical positions. So you have some tactical puzzles, you have some flashy move, you're supposed to sacrifice your queen and then break through to the king and then checkmate the opponent and you're happy, you're winning the game and it looks flashy. But in a real, real world scenario, in reality, first of all, there is no one telling you, hey, this is the position when you're supposed to maybe sacrifice something. There is a tactical blow here. There is no one telling you that. And in most of the situations, let's say in 99% of the time, you're actually not having any tactical blow. You're just supposed to play some normal, strong chess move that doesn't even have to be the first line. It can actually be second best or fifth best move, as long as it's not a blunder. And you understand that most of our games, if you are not 2700 plus player, most of our games are actually ending up by someone just blundering a piece. Someone blundering maybe just a pawn or a rook or something like that. And we don't even have to do anything flashy with the tactics. We just wait for someone to make a blunder or we are the one who blunder first. In order to tackle that, in order to tackle the fact that the consistency is the key to the strong play, we created the master's mode. What's the master's mode? It's the mode where you're presented with random positions from mostly grandmasters games and you are asked to make the next move as you are grandmaster in that very position. And maybe there is some tactical blow, but maybe there isn't, you don't know that. And you're just supposed to make a strong move. Then, I told you I'm a mathematician, we are doing some calculation and we can quite accurately say how consistent you are, how strong moves are that you are making and how often do you blunder. And we can pretty accurately map it to your chest strength known as ELO. I do understand that practicing like this, practicing with standing at one position for 10 minutes, just making sure that you cover everything, that you don't miss something, that you don't hang a piece or something like that. It's not the same level of fun as it's solving tactical puzzles, but if you want to take your game to the next level, that's something that you really have to do, trust me. And yeah, once in a while you should still break it with a few tactical puzzles, be more on the fun side, but you really have to work hard on your consistency level and that's exactly what Reality Check Chess Masters Mode is all about. Thank you very much and please let us know how it's working out for you and if you played enough positions, how accurate did we estimate your ELO?